that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to be checking out Battle Dome from Parker Brothers, the game of rapid fire action and lightning quick reflexes. Wah, wah, wah. This is for two to four players, ages eight and up. And as you can see, it is a very large game and a very large box. And in this game, you're going to be setting up this giant apparatus and playing essentially kind of like four player pinball, except it's kind of like keep away because you're trying to keep the balls away from yourself. Or maybe I've never just played keep away because I have no friends. <laughs> I don't know. Let's open up and see how it works. All right, we're going to be checking out Battle Dome on our handy-dandy grip mat, which turns every game into a space game. Uh, so as you can see, we're at a very odd camera angle because this is a very, very large game. I'd say it's probably about a foot to a foot and a half tall. Uh, so first and foremost, we have our handy-dandy rule booklet. It's about 360 pages, double-sided, uh, no pictures or color to speak of. Oh, my bad, this is actually the Patriot Chiefs, a chronicle of American Indian resistance. That's not what we need. Uh, I actually don't have the rule sheet, but it's very, very simple. You can find it on Board Game Geek. Very fantastic website if you're not using it. Uh, and I can teach you how to play right now. But before we do that, I want to show you the components and exactly how everything works. So, uh, the box in itself is a huge, massively large box. Uh, but as you can see, it still pales in comparison to the size of this thing. You can take it apart and you will be able to take off, you know, all the little pieces and the netting. And actually, everything inside also comes off as well. And so I decided to uh, take out some of the pieces so you can see what's inside. This is going to be a little guard that you're going to be able to put, because you can play two to four players, and this guard will block out certain sides, so that way, um, if you're playing a two-player game, you don't want balls going into the side that someone's not playing at. You're also inside, you're going to have some little some bells and some whistles, uh, not whistles, but some bells, this little thing which will spin around and just look pretty cool and send balls flying in different directions. And I mentioned the balls, let's take a look at the balls. There's going to be a bunch of balls in there. Most of them are going to be yellow. And uh, if you have these balls in your uh, little slot down here, uh, that's going to give you one point. Now in this game you actually don't want to you want to get the least amount of points. So having balls is bad. You're going to be trying to pew, 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 kind of pinball those balls away. Now, the black ones are called stealth balls. And let me tell you, they are really stealth, especially when you have this metal on, this black back here. It's going to be hard seeing these things coming sometimes. And as such, these are going to be worth five points. And as we mentioned, having points is bad. Uh, so when you're setting this thing up, you're going to, essentially the main piece is going to be this big... This big bottom part right here, you're going to have these four things, you're going to be setting up the inside, all these plastic pieces come apart. Setting it up is going to be a little bit of a burden. Now up top, up here, as you can see, you're going to have spots to keep score, because you're going to be playing this game, uh, hypothetically, oh, until someone wins five rounds. However, in a four-player game, that can take a really long time, and this can drag on quite a bit. Up top, you've got a spot here where you can load in balls. You can't really see it, but it's not important. But the main thing up top here is that there's going to be this little crank up here. And you're going to turn this crank in order to get the game started. You're going to, so we're going to crank it a couple times, and then we'll show you exactly how the game is played. Hey, you don't normally get to see me on this part. So we're going to crank it a couple times, and then we will start it up. I will, and will mention the sound is somewhat annoying, but uh, let's go ahead and test this bad boy out. So we're going to hit the on button, and then sure enough, balls are going to start falling down, and boom, boom, boom. And as you can see, since there's only one person playing, it's not very exciting. Oh, I got a black ball. Go. No, nope. well, looky there. I'm actually in the side that's blocked off. Well, I feel like a real moron right now. So let's go ahead and just break everything real quick so you can see exactly how this is going down. So there, I'm holding everything up, and oh, God, they're coming. They're all coming. Oh, God. Uh, but you're trying to flick them all away, and flick them away as fast as you can. Well, you're trying to flick them away, and uh, the first person to get to five rounds one is going to be the winner, and as I mentioned, whoever has the lowest score at the end of the round is going to win the round. Five rounds, and you are the winner. And that, in a nutshell, is how Battle Dome is played. Oh, great, dope, great. Battle Dome for Parker Brothers. One of my final thoughts. Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody a couple different reasons. Obvious one, it is a children's game, and it is a party game. Nowhere in between, don't bust this out on game night or you probably will get laughed at. 
Also, setting thing, this thing up is slightly difficult. Um, I mean, you have to make sure that you're on a completely flat playing surface or else the game will get completely screwed up. You have to make sure you got the little, the little bells on there, the little turny things on there. You gotta make sure you got all the balls there, then you gotta put the net on. Oh, but God forbid, if somebody leaves the game, you gotta take the net off, you gotta put down one of these thingamabobbers, because if you don't, then you'll have balls going in empty slots, which will completely bore the game up. And setting it up is a little bit of a burden. Another con I had is, well, this is a big box. Uh, and when it's not in the box, it's even bigger. So storage of this thing is a slight problem. Uh, last con I have is that the strategy in this game is, oh, there's a ball coming, I'm going to hit it. Oh, another ball coming, I'm gonna, oh, I didn't get it, it got through. Next time, I'm gonna hit that ball. I mean, that really is the only strategy. There's no other strategy to speak of in this game. But moving on to the pros, Battle Dome is a lot of fun, and for children who absolutely love this game, or for party gamers who also really enjoy this game, this one gets a big thumbs up. Children, obvious why they like this, because it looks cool, it sounds cool, and it's a lot of fun, but for parties, this went over really, really well, especially if you set up like a tournament system where the one person gets to stay if they win two rounds. Playing to five rounds, by the way, is just completely blasphemous in a four-player game. Uh, this game does not have the mileage for that. But as a as a party game, potentially something where beverages could be consumed, this goes over really, really well. And, and it's not hard to see why, because it is fun. It, it's just plain and simple fun. So, should you get this game? That's the million dollar question. That's a hard one to answer. First and foremost, if you're going to have limited space for your games, probably not so much. Also, this one's going to be extremely hard to find because it's out of print. If you can find it for cheap at a thrift stop or a Goodwill, absolutely pick this one up. It is a blast and a half to play. If you have to go crazy and get it on eBay for like 40, 50 bucks, no. There's other games that, that are just as fun, that are a lot smaller, uh, that are in print that you can probably find. So overall, Battle Dome. It's a treasure, I like it, it's a lot of fun, I'm personally going to keep it, but don't go crazy trying to find it if you can't find it. But other than that, definitely one that I'm going to be busting out at parties and with kids from here on out. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below, and as always, thanks for your time YouTube, but before we wrap out, tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite party game that you like to bust out that is not a typical gamer game? For me personally, it is Beer Pong, because man! I'm good at it, and I love that game. But let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite game to play at parties? That was the review for Battle Dome. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Or don't. I mean, you know, whatever, dude. It's, it's cool. I mean, if you don't, you don't want to be friends, I mean, just don't. Just don't. Don't. I mean, I have other friends. I was just really hoping that you and I, you know, maybe we could hang out a couple times in, you know, situations where, you know, it's not just the two of us. And then maybe, you know, we can say, hey, man, dude, can I add you to Facebook? And then from that point on, maybe you give me your number sometime. We start shooting texts. We hang out. I mean, then we can go on a couple double dates. But, I mean, if you if you don't want to check back, I mean, that's, you know, there's, I guess I guess I could hang out with Brian again. I mean, he's cool. Um, but yeah, check back at Bowers Game Corner, dude, because I thought we had, I thought we had something.